Well, hello, Cram Stoppers. I'm trying to keep this short because, oh, you have to make it so that you can, okay, there you go. So, September 23rd is the equinox. December 21st is the solstice. Uh, these two days have a significance to the Saturnists or the Luciferians or the Satanists or whatever, and they do horrifying rituals on these two days. Well, they do horrifying rituals on more than just these two days, but uh, and I can, I'll get it if I'm not even going to get into the physics and the, the astronomy and astrology of it, the, the four corners at, at the, you know, the two equinoxes and the two solstices. But anyway, uh, these are the ones that are coming up. So what I would like to propose, and this is why you're seeing this, uh, wherever you're seeing this in your channel and, or in a tweet or on Facebook or wherever I'm trying to get, use social media and I'm trying to get people, uh, that have large followings to just uh, institute or instigate a day of prayer or meditation or however you think about it, non-denominational, doesn't matter if you're conservative, doesn't matter if you're uh, liberal, doesn't matter if you're Buddhist or Hindu or Christian or Jewish or Muslim or name it, peace. We're praying for peace. Uh, we're not anti-Israel, we're pro-peace. We're not anti-United States, we're pro-peace. We're not anti-Russia, we're pro-peace. We're not anti-war, we're pro-peace. Uh, it's a huge difference. So what you're praying for is peace. Peace for yourself, peaceful um, relations with, uh, peaceful and tranquil, uh, tranquil relations with uh, you and yours. And there's plenty of compassion meditations and prayers and other stuff that you can find. And I'm not telling you which one to use or which one's best. Um, I'm just saying, pray for peace. I don't care what, uh, denomination or how you, uh, align yourself with whatever religion it is, pray for peace. Uh, one day. If you can, uh, pray for peace for an hour or meditate for peace for an hour, great. If you can only do three minutes, right, <laughs> then do three minutes. If you can do 20 minutes, great. But on these two days, uh, your thought moves toward peace. Now, if you could do three hours, see, you know, what I want to do is 12 hours before this, and uh, 12 hours after this, same thing with this, 12 hours before and 12 hours after. So if you could do three meditations of an hour each, that'd be awesome. If you can only do one, uh, that would be awesome too. But if we do three meditations, first one is for peace, second one is love self, forgive self, and by loving self and forgiving self, you actually will be serving others. Um, and then third meditation or third prayer would be for uh, loving others and uh, forgiving others and then serving others uh, in whatever way you can think of. Um, and it can be the simplest things. It doesn't have to be big things. You don't have to become Mother Teresa. You can just be kind to the person in front of you in the, or behind you at the grocery store or when you're trying to get a parking space or whatever it is. Just peace, love, forgiveness. These are universal traits. I don't care what religion or denomination or... And you can do it secular also uh, with psychiatry and psychology. There are methodologies to help you love self, to help you forgive self, to help you forgive others, to help you love others. But what I found is you can't love anybody until you love yourself. You can't forgive anybody until you forgive yourself. And don't start hard. Don't start trying to forgive Hillary Clinton, for example. Um, hard one. Uh, start with somebody like your grandma or somebody that you love, your dog, your cat, whatever. Those feelings, see, because we are thinking creatures, but we are not uh, thinking or cerebral first. We are feeling creatures. And see, this is how they get us. Um, these emotions lead to thoughts. But uh, we are emotional creatures that have thoughts. We are not thinking creatures that have emotions. That was very disturbing and, and made me sad <laughs> when I first found out about it. But the more I thought about it, yes, it's correct. Especially if you understand how these uh, chakras and so forth work. But anyway, it starts here and then here. So uh, the emotion you want to feel is love, kindness, that warm, fuzzy feeling that you get when you think about some people. Maybe it's your husband, maybe it's your wife, maybe it's your kids, um, whatever it is. And then work your way out. I know some people that uh, just terrible things have happened in their lives and uh, it's a weight on them. Um, you know, killed, children killed in car accidents. How do you forgive the guy that was being careless uh, or a brother or a mother? Uh, same thing, uh, cancer, same thing, all these different uh, things that make you angry. Let those feelings go, and you're not, we're not going to not hold them accountable, but we're not going to burden ourselves with these kind of emotions and thoughts. We're going to love self, forgive self, uh, and love others, and forgive others. Uh, this will make the world a better place. It's a very simple concept. 
Um, so you start off. Even if you can do three minutes, you can just do three minutes. One minute, peace. One minute, right? Just pray for peace. Just meditate for peace. Compassion meditation. Want everyone to be happy. Want everyone to be peaceful. Um, and then, like I said, uh, there are scriptures and prayers and so forth and rituals in every religion. doesn't matter what it is. Uh, that talk about uh, ways to love self, uh, love uh, and forgive self, and to, uh, you know, love the, the higher power and so forth. And then, once you get that part of it going, uh, once you have those loving feelings, now it's a little easier for you to try to think loving thoughts to people that you might not be so loving with. I know people that absolutely love their mom. I also know people that absolutely hate their mother. Uh, or father, whichever, whatever the case may be. All right, so don't start there. That's like starting off with the heavy weights on the bench, and what you're going to wind up with is a bar across your neck, right? You've got 405 on that, <laughs> trying to bench press 405 to stay day one. No, you got to work your way up there. So same thing here. Um, maybe you're one of those people that doesn't like humans. <laughs> okay, uh, start with your cat or your dog, and then work your way out to someone that you know, uh, you know, start with your friends, that maybe you, you don't think about, well, I don't really love this person, but have loving thoughts toward a friend of yours that you have a good relationship with. Then you can start moving out toward uh, people that you have uh, more difficult uh, relations with. Um, but start with self and work your way out. And see, a lot of people, I've had uh, people where there's a mirror exercise where you just look in the mirror and say, I love you, right, to yourself. I know people that can't do that. They can't even do that. Um, but how are you going to love somebody else if you can't love yourself? How are you going to forgive somebody else if you can't forgive yourself? So, and like I said, in all religions, there are rituals, prayers, um, methodologies in uh, more secular uh, textbooks or, uh, you know, whatever it is, however you come to it, all we're going to do, peace, love, forgiveness. 24 hours. On the 23rd, uh, and for 12 hours, so if you can do it uh, three times, that'd be great. If you can only do it once, that's fine. But on these two days, we're going to try and counteract the uh, satanic rituals that happen on these two days um, with thousands. And here's what we're going to do. Look about, look, we go find out about the Maharishi effect. But the idea is, if we take 7.6 billion people on this planet and square root that, there's your number. And that's a beautiful number. It winds up to be 87,178, because that's 978, right? So 97 of a person is close enough. But I mean, look at the symmetry of this number. It's such a beautiful number when you get right down to it. 178. Forward and backward, it is the same number. Anyway, the idea is that uh, if we can get 87,000 of us at one time, thinking thoughts of peace and thinking thoughts of love and uh, forgiveness, uh, we can make a huge difference. And uh, why nobody's doing this? I don't understand. We got the walk away movement. Well, we need to have meditation prayer day and these two days. We need, and, and we could do more, but let's just start off with this one um, and get as many people as possible to uh, participate in this. All right, I want to try and keep this short, but the idea is uh, a lot of you guys that have huge followings, uh, tell them in your own words, you can show them this video, but tell them in your own words that this is what we're going to do. We're going to have a day where we spend some time uh, thinking thoughts that are peaceful, loving, and forgiving. And if we can do it for 24 hours, and that's what I mean, it's not, and you don't have to do it for all 24 hours, right? If you just do it for three minutes, and there's an overlapping effect, if we can get 87,000 people at one time, even just for five minutes, that will make a huge difference. Now, here's the beautiful thing about it. Let's multiply this number by two. Let's say if we get twice as many people. Now we have 174,356 uh, people that uh, get involved with this and meditate and pray. Or, like I said, if you don't like the word meditation, you don't like the word prayer, whatever. Just think those thoughts. Think peaceful thoughts. Think loving thoughts. Think uh, forgiving thoughts. Okay, now when we square that number, and see we don't have words for it, but it's like mana points or whatever, uh, we can affect uh, 30.4 billion people. Well, there's only 7.6 billion on the planet. 
So we can really make a huge effect. See, it's a it's an exponential thing if we can double from here. But if we can just get 87,178 people to sit down and meditate in prayer for peace and compassion, um, you can do it at your house. If you are a more social creature and you want to do it in your church, do it in your church. Uh, you want to do it in a stadium or you want to do it in a field, whatever, wherever. Get some people together. Tell them about this. Share this video and tell them uh, that on this day we are going to make a huge change. We're going to shift the consciousness uh, toward a more peaceful, loving, uh, forgiving uh, populace on this planet. And see, with the power of the internet, worldwide, right, all over the place. I'm going to share this with as many people as I can. And then you make a video. And uh, we need a hashtag. Somebody come up with a hashtag <laughs> so that we can have hashtag meditation prayer day or whatever. Um, so we can put it on Twitter and uh, get a movement going. So the movement is very simple. Peace, love, forgiveness. You don't have to be a Democrat. You don't have to be a Republican. You don't have to be conservative. You don't have to be liberal. You don't have to be Jewish. You don't have to be Christian. You don't have to be Muslim. Whatever. You don't have to be an atheist. You can be whatever it is. And still, these three things. Peace, love, forgiveness. Okay. And this will make a, hu a huge difference. Like a hu I can't even tell you how much of a difference it is uh, that can be made. Look up the Maharishi effect. Uh, where just even small amounts of people move into a city, sit down and think prayer, uh, think peaceful thoughts and peace for others. And the, it's unmistakable that the actual crime rates and violence and so forth go down. Uh, and technically, what did you do? You didn't do anything. Uh, you don't have to leave your house. You can do it in your bedroom. You can do it in your living room. You can do it in whatever comfortable chair. You can do it on the floor. Just sit down. Uh, or stand, it doesn't matter. I don't have a prescribed methodology for this, but just peace, love, and forgiveness. Okay, uh, and for me to get this going and move along with it, uh, perhaps you could hit the Patreon thing. That would be great, but it's not necessary because the most important thing to do is share um, this video or make one of your own uh, to inform others that on these two days, uh, we are going to try and make, well, we're not going to try. We're going to make a difference. Um, the first one's coming up rather fast. So the second one on December 21st, and see, it's Christmas time, that Christmas feeling, right? Everybody knows the Christmas spirit. Uh, and then on Monday, what do they do? They get you in the Christmas spirit, and then they get you to get drunk on New Year's Eve, and then Monday morning you're in pain, and the Christmas spirit is gone for the rest of the year. How about we keep that Christmas spirit, that loving spirit, the aloha spirit alive all year round? And uh, we'll start doing it four times a year at least on the equinoxes and the solstices. These are the ones that are coming up uh, right now. And uh, we're going to pray for peace, loving, and forgiveness. Uh, our peace, love, and forgiveness. All right, simple. Heal. Uh, this planet needs healing. Uh, all of us need healing. So uh, this is an easy, simple way to do it. And we're going for this number. Some of you guys have more subscribers than this. So <laughs> let's go for it, you know, if you watch till this part, or till the end here. But I mean, we could, this should be easy to achieve. This shouldn't be a difficult thing. And we don't have to be any particular time, uh, just on this, on this day, and on this day, peace, love, forgiveness. For three minutes, for five minutes, for an hour. Uh, if you can do it throughout the day, for just a few moments yeah, throughout the day. However you want to go about this, I'm not going to tell you the best way to do it. Um, but peace, love, and forgiveness. Simple. All right, Crime Stoppers, e pluribus unum. They're trying to divide us. They're trying to get us to fight with each other. It makes my heart sick when I see people fighting in the streets. You're all Americans. Um, but they've got you to think thoughts uh, that uh, lead to violence. So let's counteract that with a day, and you'll, you'll be amazed, uh, of peace, love, and forgiveness. All right. Share this around as much as you can, uh, and we will uh, affect some change here this year. Doesn't if not us, who? If not now, when?